Hey, how's it going? And today I'm going to be doing a video on speed ramping in Vegas Pro. I just thought I'd do this because I don't usually use speed ramping that much, but I was going to be doing it on a video and I thought, well, since I'm doing it, I might as well make a tutorial about it. Plus I had some extra time on my hands. So anyway, I just happened to grab this clip of uh, our aspiring ukulele player and he's just sitting in the living room and he's playing his ukulele and now he's going to get up. Actually, I was testing out a Steadicam and he's going to walk down the hallway and go into a room. So when you're looking to do the speed ramping, it usually works best if you've got continuously shot footage, something like this. And a good way to think of it is as a point where you just kind of want to fast forward through it. Even though the footage might not be boring, you're just wanting to kind of speed through it. So what I'm going to do right here is I'm just going to split the clip right there and get rid of this part. And I don't really want this, uh, oops, I don't really want this part here, so... I'm just going to have a little small clip to work with right here. And maybe I'll just stop it right there too. Let me just trim it down a little bit more. And let's say I don't want this audio clip on here. I can press control, control, hit U on the keyboard. And then I can come over here and just click the audio and delete that. So I just, I'm just left with my, my clip. So once you've got your clip, like I said, it works best, I think with a long shot, like a continuously shot scene with like you might do with a steady cam. you should go through and decide where you want to speed it up and slow it down. So in this point, let's say I want him, I'll watch this. I'm hitting space bar to play and enter to stop. So let's say I want to speed him up right here as soon as he stands up. And then once he gets in the hallway, I'm going to want him to slow down. And then let's say he'll walk normal speed through the hallway and right before he gets to the end, Let's see, right before he gets in, I'm hitting enter to stop it. He's going to speed up around this turn. And then as soon as he goes into this room, he's going to slow down. And then he's just going to turn around. And we're going to end it right there. So you should identify the points at which you want to speed and slow down the person. So first, I'm going to select this clip on the clip. And with the arrow keys, I'm just going to kind of go back. And let's say I want him to, I want to speed him up as soon as he's standing up, like right there. Okay, so then I'll just come in here to insert video envelope and event velocity. And then I'll just come up, there's already a keyframe on there. So I'm just gonna click right here and go add point. And then right after that, I'm gonna add another point. And then I'll click on that, right click on that point and I'll go set to maximum velocity. And then that'll speed them up through the whole clip, but I want them to slow down. So I'll just arrow my key to where I want them to slow down, like right about there. And I'll scroll in a little bit here and I'll right click and I'll add a point. And then right after that, I'll add another point. And then on that point there, I'll put set to normal velocity and that'll slow him back down. So we should have this little like a hyper zoom or fast forward effect right there. So there he is playing and whoop, there he goes and he slows down. So there's my speed ramp and I'll let him go normal speed to right about there. And I'll go right click on the there and add a point. And right after that, I'll add another point. I'll right click it and set it to maximum velocity forward. And then I'll use the arrow key to where I want to slow them down. And let's say I want to slow them down right there, like right there. I'll go right click and add a point. And then right after that, I'll add another point. And I'll right click on that point and I'll put it back to normal velocity. And there I've got two speed ramps in there. And so if we play and watch it, it's zoop, normal speed, and then zoop. And there he is in the hallway. Okay. And sometimes I've noticed when you're doing this, it expands the, it actually expands the clip for some reason. So I'm not sure why it does that. I don't know. It's, it was kind of uh, weird. It does that. So, but I haven't had any problems doing it the way that I'm showing you right now. Okay, so there's that. Now let's say, I'll show you one other thing. Let's say if we're watching this ramp right here. Now you should notice these points are adjustable, so you can move them. They're not, if you want to adjust it a little bit, they're all movable. So, you, you know, you can just click and drag on them. See, I can put this one on normal velocity. So these are all adjustable. So I might have dragged that too far. So let me see. He's speeding up down the hallway. So what I can do is actually 
pull that back like that. And I don't want it to, I'm clicking and dragging on this. And actually, if you right click on here, you can set the type of transition that you have. If you want them to slow down faster or smoother or sharp, you can do that too. So there he goes. And there he goes. So you can see when I adjusted this, it affected this. So I wanted, I want to pull this back. So be careful when you're adjusting these points because it may require adjustment if you do one or the other. Yeah, so I got to adjust all this now because I moved that one. It shifted everything. So I'll right click and just make sure I've got these on the, what I want them on. Yeah, so let's see. Okay, let's say you've got this clip here and you actually want this transition where he's going, let's see, to be even faster. What you can do is simply right after this uh, maximum velocity point, if you hit split and then you come over here and right before this next mass maximum velocity point, you move it over a little bit right before you get to that one and you hit split, you can create this gap. And then what you can do is come in here and when you see that icon and you hit alt, I mean control, excuse me, you can actually compress this down and he actually speed up the ramp even faster. So if you wanted to really have him like go fast, you could do that if you wanted to. So it's a really a fairly versatile effect. I would just be aware of the clip itself actually expanding and contracting as you're adding these uh, adjustments onto it. And that's really all there is to it. If it's a fun little effect, it's pretty easy to do. And that's it. So take care and have a great day.